In life, there are an infinite amount of fleeting moments. It seems like one second they appear, and the next they vanish. I take it upon myself to try and hold on to that fleeting moment. I inhale. I take in my surroundings. I focus and that moment becomes eternally mine. Uh, my name is Marley Anthony. I was originally born in the Caribbean, the Caribbean island of Dominica, and I'm a photographer. I got into photography in my third year of university. Um, I went on a family trip and one of my family friends came along. Uh, his name is Wisdom, shout out to Wisdom. He had a Rebel T3. He let me just, you know, get a couple of shots here and there. And I found myself saying, can I borrow your camera? Can I borrow your camera? Can I take a shot? Can I take a shot? At the end of the trip, he was like, do you want to keep the camera? And then he said, of course. From there, it just became like a study break for me. And I just started learning, watching YouTube videos, um, reading books, and just started teaching myself. And about four years later, here I am. Kind of research beforehand, but I don't do too much research because that could kind of make me tunnel vision and try to focus on only getting one shot or shooting one location. Um, I kind of just go to a general idea, go to a general place where I know I would like to shoot some photos there. I don't know, kind of letting it, letting it happen and not, not trying to force it too much. The way I am, I like very simplistic, minimal uh, things, and I, I like that in my photography also. I usually like to put my subject usually in the middle of the frame. Every once in a while, I'll, you know, throw them off to the side or, or whatever, but that's me, you know, I, I just love that simplicity, and I want people with my photographs to just focus on the subject and focus on that center point. Um, I want the general scene to be beautiful. Whenever people see my photos, that's what I, I hope and think they feel. I feel that that sense of calm and that sense of, of order in the photos. The photography community in Vancouver, I would say, is pretty big. I've collaborated with a couple of photographers and outdoorsy people. Um, once you do and once you could surround yourself with a good group of people that you that you trust and that you you know you have a good time with and that you have common interests with it's it's amazing it's amazing to just call up a group of friends and just be like hey let's go to Lynn Canyon let's go to Squamish and shoot some photos or just be in the outdoors and it's it's incredible it's incredible so Vancouver being such a beautiful place for the outdoors and so easily accessible to the outdoors is it makes it awesome. Um, being a photographer, enjoying the outdoors, living in Vancouver, I just, I'm trying to be a role model for, for other young black men. I've never noticed actually a black photographer. Uh, I'm sure they're out there, but I've never seen one in the limelight. It can be very difficult. Um, just because like, yeah, there's not a lot of, not a lot of uh, black people in the industry, but I mean, the industry is for everybody. Hopefully one day I could take my photography to a higher level, a more professional level, um, where I could be seen by young black men around the world and they could know that they could be this too.
Uh, it is hard to stand out, but I don't think it's about standing out. I think it's just about doing and creating work that you love. And by doing that, you stand out. And that's, that's usually pretty hard. Uh, you have to really think outside the box, use creativity. And it's very easy to take, just take those popular photos again. Um, the way I like to do it is, yes, I take the photos that have been taken because usually that photo is a popular photo for a reason. So I like getting that photo. Um, and then I also like to try to put my own spin on things. If you're always worried about followers, likes and, and all this stuff, you're going to just drive yourself into the ground. My favorite, f oh, I know. We were in Tofino and we were scrambling, scrambling to the beach to get there for sunset. And I saw, we saw the sky turning pink and purple through the moonroof and we were freaking out. And as soon as we pulled into the parking lot, like I think I barely had the car in park before we were all out of the car. The, it just looked like the sky was on fire and I remember Matthew ran ahead of me and I didn't even know he was going to do this but he just ran ahead of me and he just stretched his arms out and closed his eyes and looked up and I just I just shot one of the most incredible sunsets I've ever seen I usually go camera first then taking in the moment um, but lately I've been trying to be more mindful in the, the areas where I am and try to take in what I'm seeing. Whether even that's even if it's for like 30 seconds, just slowing down, taking it in and enjoying it for, for what it's worth. Because I mean having a photograph is amazing, but having an experience is better. If all should fall apart. Yeah, I like to just continue with outdoor photography, adventure photography. Um, I like wedding photography also, so I want to continue with that. I really just enjoy photography in general, and I just would just like to continue it as, as much as I can in as many different facets as I can. Some advice that I'll get somebody trying to get into photography is just do you. You're never going to be satisfied. If it's not something that you created yourself, that, that's 100% from you, you're not going to be satisfied. Oh man, hanging up a photo to me is one of the coolest things ever. And for such a long time, I never did it when I first unrolled that print and lay it down on my bed and I saw something that I created turn tangible and physical and just being able to hold it and touch and look at it in close detail. It looks completely different. And whenever I get to share that with my friends, whenever I get to print out my photos and get to my friends, um, it's just it's an amazing feeling just, just being able to have my work. Um, on their walls. Through the better and the sweet. Every word I said is a promise. Photography is something that helps me to get out and explore the beautiful world that we live in. Uh, there's so much out there. There's so many people to meet. There's so many places to see. There's so many experiences to be had. Uh, for me, photography is that catalyst to get me to do all those things. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful world out there, and I think everybody should get a chance to see it.